All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for our next deck, which is going to be Selesnya Angels. It's been a little bit since we played this one, um, so let's kind of run it back. So basically what we have here is a mono-white angel deck. For the most part, uh, we have you know, our, our good two drops. Uh, early game, we have Tithe Taker, which is good on offense and defense. Vanguard, which is basically only offense, and Honor Guard, which is basically only defense. <laughs> so we have like th those combinations there. Uh, and really what we're trying to do is just curve out all the time. We're not like really playing a whole lot of removal. I got just like a couple bindings and some Vivians is all we got there. Um, we're basically only splashing for Vivian because Vivian is just that incredible. Uh, we also have Flower Flourish that uh, just fixes our mana for us. And besides Vivian, we get our... Uh, Sideboard Kral, Har Kral Harpooners for Mono Blue and Carnage Tyrants and another Vivian for Control uh, with some Knight of Autumns that can do some things in there as well. We're basically a Mono White deck, just really light on the green, trying to curve out each, uh, each game. So there we go. Yeah, Vivian Reed, I think, is probably too slow for Modern, I think, there. All right, so let's get started. Selesnya Angels. That beautiful art on Resplendent Angel here. So if you are uh, newer to the channel here, uh, this is what I do each and every day from 3 to 10 Eastern is the normal time. We're doing a special 12-hour stream today uh, for Gatsby and Crimson Coven that had the epic bit war of 2019 earlier in the week. And we have other 12-hour uh, goals that we are getting close to. We're not too far away from hitting our YouTube sub goal. We only need three more people to get a new toothbrush with Quip. Um, improve their up their toothbrush game there. Only eight more people to get the three dollar razor package sent to them with Harry's. <laughs> yeah, our Naya Watley deck is really sweet. Yeah, I went 3 1 with that. Attack. Alright. See ya, Danto. Sure, I could pay 4 life. I mean, they just play a Crackling Drake. It can't ever attack again. Uh, it's not really that good against Phoenix. What deck am I having the most fun with in the current meta? Honestly, right now, it's the the probably the Grixis Discard. Uh, that's the deck that I look forward to playing the most. It's it's a lot of fun to play and everything. And I do uh, win a lot with that deck and everything. And it has a lot of really fun games. Like, the games are really close. A lot of them are pretty difficult where we're, like, you know, pretty close to losing, but maybe win. I wish the Ixalan's Binding would keep these Arclight Phoenixes from coming in play. But Binding on a Phoenix doesn't do a whole lot for us. See, would I rather be at 11 right now with a Vanguard in play? No. Really glad we got rid of that. Hmm. So, Shalai is my best defensive play here. History is my best offensive play. Hmm. Yeah, we played some Abzan Hero. It's been a while for that. It was probably like three weeks ago or so. Yeah, Binding would stop this individual Phoenix from coming back, which is true.
All right, I'm gonna go history. I think I I think I want I'm, I want a binding uh, crackling Drake. It's like the thing I want to binding here in this matchup. Because this this does let me hit get another land out to hit another land drop. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. More more Benalia and race. That sounds like a solid plan. Alright, get Grixis discard up on YouTube. No. Well, so much for my offensive plan. At least, that's got to be like all their removal and stuff, right? Like, they're not going to have an answer to the Shalai now, right? Like, they got to be done with things that are going to get rid of this Shalai. That was pretty rude. I agree. All right, got that up there. Oh yeah, they definitely have beacon bolts, lava coils, all that kind of stuff in their deck. But I'm saying that hopefully they don't have any more. Hopefully they haven't drawn any more. Hmm. This lets them shock the Shalai and kill the Shalai. Let's take that. I would like to draw a planes here and be able to play double resplendent angel. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We're only 86 YouTube subs away. They're basically there. Go down to four. Get Electromancer out of here. <laughs> Ever considered LASIK to have my eyes removed? I don't think I want my eyes removed. Um, I do wear contacts. Quite a bit as well. Keeping Angel of Grace back to be able to block this Phoenix. Alright, that's the card of binding. And attacking with Shalai, because like if they have a shock, they have to target Shalai kind of thing. Like Even if they draw like a Lava Coil, they have to get rid of... Um, they have to get rid of Shalai with that. I 
I played Resplendent Angel because I want to be able to activate Resplendent Angel. Kind of thing in the future. I do think my opponent has shock for how they made that Arc Light Phoenix attack earlier. Either that or they're just trying to get it back, but I, I do kind of feel like they have a shock in hand. And so I'm basically playing around shock here with like no attacks or anything. Because if I attack with Angel of Grace, then they get to shock. Uh, then they get to attack back with Phoenix, and I have to block with Shalai, and then they shock Shalai. Alright, maybe they don't have shock. Hoping they have another Crackling Drake in hand. Or two. Ugh. I just can't get that six of land for Resplendent Angel. I would be attacking out if I if I would have drawn a land, I would be able to attack out here. Uh, and activate Resplendent Angel so, like, the Phoenix would chump something. But I think we still have this. Unless our opponent, like, coils Shalai and then goes, like, Shock Shock to kill us from four. Oh. Yeah, I guess it was lethal with binding, huh? Shows you how much I really didn't want to binding that Phoenix. Oh, well, we'll give our opponent a draw step. So getting another binding in because it is just so good against Crackling Drake, and I like it against Electromancer, and they could they could be bringing in niv Mizzet as well. I want it against all those things. Harpooner is a little awkward. Um... Yeah, Grixis discard it hits the five win, certainly the most consistently for sure. Like this card's not very good against Phoenix, you know. Just basically, Doomblade for Phoenix is not great. Honor Guard and Vanguard aren't spectacular. Though. Baffling End is, you know, only good against the Electromancer, but getting rid of Electromancer is pretty important. What if I do this? I wonder if the Carnage Tyrant is actually better than the Ajani for us. Yep, Zephyrs. Um, not the Demir Midrange, that was a donation deck. Um, but I made all the rest of these decks. Yeah, I made all those decks. Alright, we'll keep this. Right? Yeah, it's not it's not nothing special. I'd be much happier with this on the play. I think there's a lot better chance the Tithe Taker into history to do things on the play. Spyglass doesn't do anything against Niv. It, the only card it would do something against is Rowl, and you know, we don't even know if they'll have Rowl or if they'll draw Rowl. It's just not worth it to have a Spyglass in. It's an okay hand, so it's not it doesn't beat it doesn't beat their better hands. So we have to kind of hope that they have a bad hand with our hand here.
No! Oh, I wanted to attack. Tilt. But I guess if I attack, they shock my thing and get to attack in for four. It's honestly better that I didn't attack. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't attack because I don't want to trade two for two, two of their damage for four of my damage. OMG. I love that trade. Thank you, Op. That's a good draw. Make their spells start costing two mana when they didn't play a third land. Yeah, this one looks great for us now. Yeah. Let's pick it up. Like I said, we could beat a bad hand for them. Couldn't really beat a good hand. But they had a bad hand. Or bad mana. And we got the win. 1 0. Foam. We can keep this. It's actually a little... This is actually really close whether to get Plains or Forest. So our only green card in the main is uh, Vivian, which is double greens. We need double green for that, but we do need a lot of white sources. You know, being able to double cast when we were playing things with History and Resplendent Angel and everything. We also have Resplendent Angel's activa activated ability, which is Trips White. So... We do need a lot of white sources. I think it's still get forest here. Just to make sure we have that second one. But it is very close to whether to get planes or forest. But because we have like we have only three other forests in the deck. So basically any any land should help us get to that resplendent angel. By the time we have six mana, uh, I would think they would have triple white. But honestly, there's a lot of times I like six mana, as we saw like in a, a previous game, where we want to cast like a history and a resplendent or two resplendents or something. And you want like four white mana. People really want to kill our tithe takers for some reason. You can have some patience, opponent. Hmm. We do need more lands. All oh, right, Dub's green for July ability. True, true, true. <laughs> Must kill the taker. It is two damage. Ugh. The wild wasn't meant. You that can't stop nature. The worst card for us to see, kind of. <laughs> that card kills angels really well, and it's very sad. I don't like how well that card kills angels. Scars are lessons written in skin. Meet What's the most common friend. misplay? Did I see? I guess it'd probably be like that cast down earlier, like using using interactive spells wrong. Maybe it's like a burn opponent throwing a spell at my face that they need to save for something else or, you know, anything like that. Hmm. 
All right, so at least Vivian's out of there. Ah, not again. Beating this. Well, Earth Walker is gonna be kind of tough if they have. If they have finality. I'm not gonna be happy. I'm already not too happy about where we are and everything. Let's just have Angel of Grace come on in, in here and step. Well then. I guess if you really want to, opponent, you can have some dinosaurs. I was thinking that maybe we could race them, but not nah, Chupacabra. I'm gonna take out this wild growth walker. Maybe we'll draw Takali Honor Guard. That'd be a good draw. Never mind. We did. Especially with the Chupacabra backup. Even I, even if I draw like a Lyra. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, so against good old Golgari. Definitely need these settles. We may need our own Carnage Tyrants to fight theirs. This is like old school Golgari. Um, Vanguard's coming on out. Same with binding, and I'm going to play one baffling end. Yeah. I don't love a Johnny, but we kind of have to keep a Johnny to be able to get Honor Guard back. If Honor Guard dies to cast down. I don't like the enchantments because of they usually have like a decent amount of enchantment re removal, especially Vivian. Binding on Vivian is awesome, but binding on kind of anything else is vulnerable. Baffling End, at least, they only get like a dinosaur back. If they blow up Baffling End with a, with a Vivian. Spyglass for Vivian kind of means that I need to board out my own Vivians. The tough thing with Spyglass on Vivian is... I'm playing Vivian also. This'll do. But yeah, Ixalan's binding on, you know, getting a binding on their Vivian is very good. And that, that's certainly the very best case scenario for Ixalan's binding. Binding on like Chupacabra, Jade Light Ranger, you know, any of their other cards, not so good. It's a big wild growth walker. Wouldn't be so bad either. The other thing is, just I already have a whole lot of fours, fives, and sixes. Like my curve's already really high, and so getting rid of binding at least allows me to lower the curve a little bit. If 
History is an awesome draw. Great draw there with the history. I do want to get Honor Guard above Finality. I know that takes a little bit of time, but I do want to do that. I am proud to fight by your side. Strength is born of struggle. Probably need to do a reset again. Good job, Honor Guard. So they have three power on the battlefield. Let's make sure that they can't even double block and kill anything with that tick up. And this game's over. I'm not blocking it all or anything. We'll have this Angel of Grace be able to flash in end step. All right, looks like we're going to game three. That is that is like our best curve. Honor Guard, History, Ajani. That's and we're on the play. It really doesn't get better for us than that, and it's even more difficult Let's if we're on the draw. Let's see if you're worthy. Balance comes. So I would say, like, I don't need to show them the Angel of Grace, but we already played Angel of Grace against them. But it doesn't matter. I can just attack them. They're at two. All these are lethal. So let's hopefully have Honor Guard in our hand for game three. Honor Guard for game three. So we just have a whole lot of four and five mana stuff. But binding on Vivian is amazing. The thing is, they they could be playing Vraska Relic Seeker to like free. You know, they could have that. They could have Assassin's Trophy. All right, this is. I need to. I'd need to reset this. Yeah, okay. I know. That was like really laggy, wasn't it? I know. You want to come up here and help? Thanks, bud. I'll take it. Honor Guard in history. Opponents on six. Go, Honor Guard, go. I'd rather them play Wild Growth Walker here on turn two than Branch Walker or Squire. I'd rather them play the Wild Growth Walker and just try to, you know, get them completely with Honor Guard. Uh, this is my real job right here. This is what I do each and every day. I stream from 3 to 10 Eastern. And this is all my income. This is what I do. All right, good. They have the Wild Growth Walker. And now do not have Cast Down. Just have a bunch of Explore creatures in hand. A bunch of Explore creatures. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye knows he's an internet celebrity. He loves it. Okay. Come here. Yeah, you're an internet celebrity. No, contempt. Boo. Oh, 
Um, and just one wild growth walker can really hold these things, these histories back, which is unfortunate. Correct, not teaching anymore. The music not working or something? Can y'all hear the music? It's like gone away on on my end. Okay, it's gotten really, really quiet. Beasts meet my newest friend. Yeah, I can hear now. Um, let's just take the angel. I do like the sixth land to be able to play Carnage Tyrant next turn. Yeah, I could have attacked my two-two Vigilant into their one-three. It's it's kind of a unnecessary attack, but yeah, I could just you know check check them and see if they block or not. I just moved on with my life. So let's get Vivian out of there. Not bad for a mouse. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hooray! We found the honor guard. Now I'm not going with Resplendent Angel here because like. Basically, their, their best card is Finality, and I don't need to throw away another Angel into Finality. No, I'm not really playing with any delay, Carvalho. At least, I mean, well, there is just like a little bit of a stream delay, but... I don't... I don't have it set on anything. Come to me. All right, Ultimate Vivian, Vivian ult. They already used one Contempt on my Honor Guard earlier. Nope. Honor Guard says, no thank you, Jade Light. Just Making sure... Okay, so they could use, like, one removal spell. I guess we just need a block like that. Because even one removal spell will still be able to handle trample. GG. Oh, yeah. Since I quit... Since I exited... Uh, during the match... It doesn't start another match, so I you have to reset it again. I uh, so actually I have to just restart again here. Yeah, there's a there's a way to play with on there's a way to stream with I don't know like low latency or something like that. I don't know if that's the correct term. the The stream like the stream is not currently delayed. Like there's a, a thing that says set stream delay, and I even have it over here. Currently not delayed at all. You can, I guess you can see how much it's delayed by I am hitting submit now on that thing, on that arm there. Whenever I said the word now. Alright, 2-0 oh with the angels. Ugh, no land. Well, one land. Ugh, no land. Well, one land.
Ugh, no land. Well, one land. Not going to four. This is really un unlikely that we're going to be winning this. Uh, if you need the playlist, so you can get the playlist there. Hooray! So no, no Curious Obsession. We're still in business. Curious Obsession, we're out of business. Closing up shop and going to the second game. If they had Curious Obsession there. But no Curious Obsession, so we're still in business. <laughs> nice trickster. I hope they have more tricksters. Even more tricksters. Tilt. Land, please. So what happens when you're on the five card hand sometimes. These, this, Terramander is going to beat me up. Hooray. Something to play. I would much rather be casting either History of Banalia or Resplendent Angel here. Hawkeye's over eating some eating some dinner. We're getting slowly beaten down. The slowest of burns. So, sideboard, we have four Kral Harpooners. That card's pretty good here. We're taking out Takali Honor Guard. So, basically, the only card we've played this game is the card we're taking out. I really like our post-board matchup here with, like, Harpooners, Baffling Ends. Like, we have a really good post-board matchup. Doesn't mean, of course, that we're going to win all of them, but we have a good matchup. I would rather, like, have History Banalia be bait for counter spells, but we're at the point... Wow. Wow. I say, we're at the point where we can't really sit back and try to counter stuff. Or, like, can't play around counter spells. We want to just... Hopefully draw another land and play another Resplendent, then draw another land and play Lyra. You know, we just want to curve out with Angel, Angel, Angel. You know, hopefully. They're just sitting with a bunch of Spell Pierces in their hand. I guess maybe Dive Downs. Spell Pierce, Dive Down. Well, Terry can't... Cannot adapt yet. Yeah, it looks like they got dive down. I did success successfully play around spell, spell pierce and negate. That is true.
Alright, we've gotten to the point of the game now where I have to chump block Terra Manager with Resplendent Angel next turn. Right, because if I if I block Storm Tamer, I'm taking six. I can't really just take six, honestly. We need to hit land, Shalai to block, land, Lyra, block. That was some pretty bad draws. I don't know about you, Vivian. Maybe you, Vivian. All right, Zerf, thanks for being here since the very beginning of the day, making it through. Have a good night. So, Pumbles, if I if I would have taken that, go to two, next turn when you're saying shall I chump, I go to one with their unblockable creature, and then the next next turn, um and when I shall I chump, like they can kill us with the other thing. If I if I attack with the resplendent, I do gain four, but I don't make an angel. Alright, so let's do some sideboard. So honor guard's coming out. Johnny's coming out. I think I keep these bindings in. And just go with this. So Knight of Autumn is good at destroying Curious Obsession. I don't know if I need to play that game though. It's pretty hard for Settle to work. I don't like how Settle gets countered by... I don't like how Settle gets countered by their uh, Siren Storm Tamer. I like Binding more because because we have like Tithe Taker where we're playing Binding on our turn and Tithe Taker helps it out. Settle is kind of tough. Vivian could resolve. It could happen. Yay, no Curious Obsession. Tithe Takers help our things resolve. I would like to draw Lyra, Dawnbringer. I'd like to bring the Dawn with Lyra's help. Alright, Trickstring main phase so they can get that thing out. I do not want to trade my. We do not want to trade a Tithe Taker for any of those. Let's just play Shalai. We can start activating Shalai here in a little bit. So I could play the Adanto Vanguard. Into a counter spell. Oh, I should have done that main phase. Actually, how they're kind of look at their hand, I could see them having another trickster. If I if I attack with Shalai, they get to trickster. All right, I'll go with this. Yeah, I should have played this. I should have played this main phase one, and 
then if it resolves, then I pass. If it if they counter it, then I get to attack with Shalai, kind of thing. But it resolved, so we pass. Trickster's kind of annoying. down to just three cards. Yeah, we're going to grow the team. Kind of see where this takes us. Alright, we'll go counter, so even a Trickster doesn't stop the Zedanto Vanguard or anything. Well, I guess we have... They can only Trickster Shalai anyway, come to think of it. Looking good. So if they have a trickster, they have two, three, four, five power on the battlefield. That is not enough to kill a Shalai. Start really crashing in. But it had like an entrancing melody. That'd be really rough for us. So I like trying to end this game. Not sitting back and letting them draw something like that. We may just have a handful of counter magic that we're not letting them play. <laughs> Calling the triple five win to end the stream. That'd be nice. Alright, can we make it through the end of the league? Getting a little sleepy, so hopefully don't throw away some game somewhere here, but it probably will. No, Amulet of Safekeeping is not a good card. I would not recommend putting Amulet of Safekeeping in any standard deck at all. Uh, if you're playing Arena, don't put Amulet of Safekeeping in your deck.
So they have to trickster here on my turn. And then whenever they trickster, they tap out, and I play my Lyra. Night of Autumn or Vivian? Maybe Night of Autumn instead of Vivian. <laughs> no, I just got the just got glasses uh, in like February, like the beginning of February, end of January, something like that. All right, go with Knight of Autumn instead of Vivian on the draw. No, I like Binding more than Settle. Uh, we talked about that one kind of earlier, but Storm Tamer makes Settle really difficult and... Okay. Yeah, we're still streaming, I know. I can't believe it, can ya? You're still streaming, going strong. Did not want to see Miss Cloak Herald, wanted to see flying one drop, you know, with having Harpooner. Really want to see you flying one drop. <clears throat> Please, no Curious Obsession again. I like how our opponents had not Curious Obsession. Harold is is the tough card for my deck. I do have a lot of anti-flying stuff, but I don't really have Miss Cloak Harold removal. Fight. Rut row. I have like a couple baffling ends. I could maybe draw. Alright, time to race. Oh, our opponent refused the draw last time. That's why they said oops. They just didn't draw. I was wondering what they were saying the oops about. I guess I could play a land to play around Spell Pierce. I guess that's silly. I was just going to play the Temple Garden, you know? Alright, good. So that like lets us not shock for fifth land for Lyra and not shock again for sixth land for a Splendid Angel. Uh, not clear of like when new set previews will come out. The next set is going to release on Arena on April twenty fifth. So previews will probably be two three four weeks before that you know obviously before two but like so like three to four weeks is when they would start before that so you're looking at like beginning of april uh sometime there like probably first week of april is what i'd be guessing for the next set previews 
and being the 16th, so like two weeks away or so. Yeah, and then we'll probably have everything like uh, two weeks before. Doesn't seem like Trickster. I wanted to like give them a chance to like play a Trickster there after attacking. And better chance of Lyra resolving then. Looks like they may have... I don't know, they're looking at my Resplendent. They may have... Entrancing Melody. Yeah, it would be better to activate Resplendent Angel over Cast Lyra if I could, but it, yeah, it costs 6 mana before I can activate Resplendent. Alright, so they did have... <clears throat> Entrancing Melody, unfortunately. Alright, what you got, opponent? It's got to be pretty good. They ditched a Spell Pierce. Smart card to get rid of. With this backup Harpooner, we're looking pretty good. So they could they have dive down like we try to harpooner the angel they dive down it and then you can still block Lyra the dive down could certainly be annoying all right keeping that back for D And that's fine with me. Get this Resplendent Angel. As long as Resplendent Angel uh, resolves, which it will now, with them only having one mana, we'll be good to go. And this game is over. So last turn I would use Harpooner to kill their Angel and then play a different Resplendent Angel. They just have an, another Entrancing Melody to take my Resplendent Angel. I think playing Lyra is the best thing to be playing there because they can't, they can't Entrancing Melody that. They don't have anything that's going to be able to block it. Like They can't even just play a Terramander and adapt it or anything. Um, just Lyra on the battlefield. Lyra just always takes over. I like getting Lyra out ASAP and always. All right, we're 3 0. sound like okay Ugh. reach there you go yeah brown nose Ooh, definitely help our opponents playing 
something that just loses to cut to Takali Honor Guard. Which looks like they're playing Sultai. Hopefully they don't have any answers to Honor Guard. And we get game one. Play Wild Growth Walker. Yeah. Now no removal. No cast down. Don't you do it. Night Reaper, that's a good card. Um, am I going to need to flourish? No, basically never flourish. Just take a land out. No! Uh, they found the cast down. Deborah David says, is it just me or Sultai feel way too clunky? There's so many better decks. I would not agree with that statement. I I think Sultai is the best deck. There's a lot of different ways to take Sultai, though. Um, I think it is very good. Yeah, Hawkeye's purring real loudly. Uh, that was a killer for us. They ditched Branch Walker, huh? So if they destroy the binding, I'd rather have... I'd rather them get the, the Wild Growth Walker back, but I'd rather take Jade Light and, and basically not let them play another Jade Light. You know, so it's, it's kind of tough. Like, I don't want them to play another Jade Light, but if Binding gets destroyed... I mean, if they play, like, Vivian and destroy Binding, you know, I'm, I'm losing to Vivian anyway. Vivian just kills the Lyra. I don't, need, I don't need to worry about binding dying. How this thing goes is up okay, to you. Okay, why they draw that Vivian? Why they draw the cast down and then draw Vivian? That wasn't that wasn't nice. All right, this is how we sideboard last time. No, oh, you're still good. So we'll try this again. Hey Lane, nice to have you here. Uh, I used to play physical magic. Yeah, I used to travel around and play a bunch of tournaments and stuff, but now I'm a stay-at-home streamer. Ooh, double honor guard. Yeah, seeing Midnight Reaper, maybe I should have another baffling end. could see that. All right. Uh, just life change, change priorities. I don't know. Long story. Alright, go Honor Guard, go. So Finality is, is probably like the card that that our opponent kind of needs here. 
Um, I don't, I don't have like a Johnny to start getting these honor guards out of finality range. Wow. They are willing to just throw down a Jade Light. So I don't, I'm not going to play Resplendent Angel because Resplendent, again, just gets cleaned up by finality. Because Resplendent would be good against a Vivian, though. By good, I mean they kill my Resplendent and then my Lyra takes over kind of thing. Ugh. That is... That is a problem. I've lost so much already. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. Yeah, Vivian's a problem. Ah! I'm a survivor. There's no commander on arena here. You can play commander on magic online. That that is the thing you can do there. Res Resplendent Angel is a better single card than Lyra when you're just like using the mana and making new angels and all that kind of stuff. That can't help you now. Question is what's the best of my decks a best of one? And I honestly don't know. I don't really play best of one. And so I honestly don't really know. Um, I, I haven't played any of them in best of one. So I just, I don't have a, a good answer for you there. This looks bad for us. Don't think we're winning here. Balance comes. That's kind of too bad. It, you know, Soul Tie, we have to call the Honor Guard on turn two, both games, and can't pull it out. Vivian's so good. I would love to draw one of my own three Vivians. You know, we got three Vivians over here. That's certainly what I'd like to draw. We can't beat Finality. You took Naya Huali to Mythic and Best of One? Nice. Way to go, Invictus. Good job. Yeah, I mean, I had to play something into Vivian, so just played Lyra to have Lyra get, you know, I had to, like, I had to sacrifice one of my angels, because I can't just let them just sit there and take out Vivian forever, you know, like they're going to ultimate and find uh, a lot of good cards and everything. So, went with, um, went with Lyra because Resplendent Angel, you know, can activate and get us more angels, where Lyra's just her own singular angel. Let's see if we draw our third land and be able to curve Adanto Vanguard into Resplendent. With Vivian minusing, then it you know would have died to Resplendent attacking it uh, if our opponent didn't have Krasis, but our opponent had Krasis. Yeah, Hawkeye Meows quite a bit, honestly. Um, like whenever I like bring him food and stuff, he's all like meow, 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 meow. He's all excited to get food. Ugh. Soul tie again. They can already have Vivian next turn. Yeah, I played Band Tokens. Um, you know, a little, you know, this is a while ago, but yeah, I played some Band Tokens. 
I've honestly liked the Naya Huali, which is basically Naya tokens, more. I don't, I don't think the, the blue cards added as much. I like these. I like the red cards. I really like um, Gruel Spellbreaker in it, in particular. Hey Dan, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Hope you're enjoying the stream and having a good end to your weekend. And I really do appreciate that support. Thank you so much. Sub number 23 on the day. They're gonna keep Branch Walker? Seems a little odd. Hmm. Wow. They just say no cast down? They must really want land. Something. No? How are they not keeping the cast down when I just have a resplendent angel chilling here? Who knows? I think I'm playing another Resplendent Angel here, even though that means I'm not blocking Branch Walker or Jade Light, so like we'd be going down to eight. They swing back at us. It does mean that if they play Vivian, we get to kill their Vivian, whether they minus and kill a Resplendent, our other Resplendent gets to kill the Vivian. Um, if they go Vivian, tick up, we can swing six at Vivian. I did really want to draw the land, of course, so that, you know, Next turn, we could potentially have Lyra. I, I really want to draw land to land. Drawing a Danto Vanguard at this point of the game is not good. Is also not good. So, if we draw a land, I'm going to Binding. I'd, I'd rather Binding instead of Tithe Taker plus Vanguard. I'd rather just get rid of this Jade Light for good. The good news is our opponent doesn't have anything else. They just have the one card. Um. Oh, Millennium God. You you have the tie bar, but I didn't I didn't see the No, the sub thing didn't show up. Try to refresh your page. Sometimes you have to refresh or you have to hit like the like at the top of the chat. There may be a, something at the top of the chat. Oh, no, I could play a Dante Vanguard here that can chump and just pay four life. And, you know, I save two life. There we go. Millennium God getting that resub. Keeping those hype boats in the channel. Sub number 24. On the day. We'll see if we get to one more here. Get a quarter century before the end of the night. Yeah, Neo, just the question, so 
the amount I've seen for a lot of people say is like if you if you buy the hundred dollar gem pack, you can basically get any any deck. That's just what I've heard. I don't know if that's you know exactly accurate and that kind of stuff, but that's that's like the price that I've heard. There. Hey, Falix. Getting that Twitch Prime sub here also. Thanks, Falix. Alright, so we'll be cracking open a pack here after this match. We got there. What's our opponent doing? So we have lethal here if our opponent does not have any any blockers or anything. Opponent's just roping. That's what it looks like. Is this just, is this just gonna make them concede the match? Well, it's a lot easier when my opponent doesn't have Vivian. As we saw their opponent not having Vivian. Maybe I just don't even go settle the wreckage. I'm gonna play one settle. Not two. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the second baffling end over, over that settle. And that's what it looked like. The rope was just a couple of fireflies. Yeah. Dang, I'm sorry to hear that photon. Someone roped you for so many turns in a row and everything. That's frustrating. Pack high, hey folks. Folks games. Our opponents, you know, being real slow here, which is also a little frustrating how we're at the end of the night here. We've been live for eleven hours and thirty-five minutes now. And it's almost midnight here. I'm getting like pretty tired. As y'all can probably tell, and our opponents just Not doing anything. It's it's tough whenever it takes so when it's you know nothing's happening here. I want to just play magic, just play some magic. Come on, opponent, you can do it. You can do it, opponent. Just keep your hand. All right, they're back. And pretty decent hand, basically just because we have honor guard, <laughs> you know. Uh, having honor guard on turn two is certainly something that we want to keep.
<laughs> so tomorrow we're going to be streaming from the normal stream time from 3 to 10 Eastern. Uh, tomorrow and other days moving forward until we hit one of one of these four uh, next 12 hour stream goals. Those, those will be one of the next times we do a 12 hour stream. All right, honor guard. All right, so Contempt there. Um, Resplendent doesn't, like it plays good D as long as they don't play Jade Light. If they play Jade Light, then Resplendent's not playing D. I'd kind of rather have, I'd rather have like Tithe Taker if they have Jade Light. If they don't have Jade Light, I'd rather have Resplendent. No. All right, well, them having Contempt into Vivian, that's that's going to be tough for me to beat. I like drawing another Tithe Taker here, um, just to be able to get two of these out to help protect my Vivian. Because they're going to be playing their Vivian, killing my Angel... Then my Vivian sticking up first. All right, so we had uh, Kai just um, send me a message. They signed up for Quip. We did Wild not get the alert like. for People, it, unfortunately, so, so I'm just going to go with the test alert here. Yeah, there's our quip. Sign up, that is sign up number 18, getting that brand new toothbrush. We are only two people away for the quip referrals there. Hey, what's up, Boot? Resubbing here for the 31st month. I can't even count that high, that's so many months. Hope your weekend's going good. We played Mono Black Zombies last night, Jenks. Played that last night. You can check out the video on the. You can find the replay there <laughs> on the YouTube Get channel. Get that out of here. Um. But yeah, we played that last night. All right, Honor Guard would be a good card to play, but let's let's just get Vivian down. Activating the this first. The are my shield. Oh, okay, so you're saying when I'm playing it the next time. I gotcha. I gotcha. I I should play that again uh, here sometime soon because we did. Ugh. No, not the contempt for my Vivian. We did pretty well with it, and we we made some changes that I'm interested to try. So uh, probably Monday. I think I have I have like donation decks that have filled tomorrow. For the most part, so probably Monday. Probably try some mono black zombies again. I think that's my most popular deck on to play on YouTube. Also, so I should probably play that deck a little more. Come to me. Scars are lessons written in skin. Wait, Meet my wait. newest friend. They ditched contempt? Wait, no. Wait. 
Oh, they played Jade Light before they ticked up Vivian. So then they ticked up Vivian and, and got rid of it. Yeah, okay. So how scared should I be of finality? Like, do I run another honor guard out there? Even into a finality? So with this line, trying to keep that Vivian down. Tithe takers will just make like some crappy 1-1. One -one. Also make some flyers. To be honest, it's just pretty late and I kind of felt like attacking. <laughs> not like with our opponent, how slow our opponents play, I'm not really doing anything and just kind of felt like, felt like attacking. <clears throat> They're just taking as okay, much time as they possibly so can on everything. Claws. I feel like they probably trade with their branch walker if they have finality. Like So that's that's something to kind of take like if they have finality they just block with branch walker um, cuz it's going to die to finality anyway and it takes out like the my other token. And that just keeps their Vivian high loyalty. So Rex, how'd you do? So yeah, I yeah, I know you're going to the to the tournament with Grixis discard. You went 4-2. Okay, good. Nice. I I don't like I, I won't be doing those changes, but um, with moment of, like those aren't changes that I would like to make, but I can understand wanting to make those. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So that that time every defeat is a new beginning. That time they didn't do anything with their turn, just timed out. Yeah, her opponent may be playing while cooking or something. I don't know. They're just... They are not doing very much here. That's that. Okay. Let's move on. Last match of the night. Four and one. 
Here we go. Final boss. Let's get our final boss playlist. Let's get it going. Here we go. Final boss of the night. All right, we got Angel, Angel, Angel. We are playing Angels. That's our deck, Selesnya Angels. We are doing what our deck does, or what it's supposed to do. Where's my pen? Here's my pen. Ooh. Love the Tithe Taker. It's great against Mono Blue. Help all these angels resolve. It's a good replacement for the fourth Bolas in the Grixis deck. Yeah. Um, you can play... You can play a Rao there. You could play, I would probably say either Rao or Eldest Reborn. I think I'd probably say one of those two cards. Um, a Hostage Taker could be a thing too, I suppose. Splendid Angel blocks really well. Um, yeah, Elder Support is a good one. Yeah. The that could certainly work there. All right, let me save this. Our opponent not hitting land drops is really, really great for us. Um, it certainly means that these angels are gonna just keep, keep resolving. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna main phase this Angel of Grace here. We don't need to flash it in when they could have counter magic on their turn, but they're tapped out now. And now all I want All I want is one more land so I can start activating Shalai. Come on, land drop. Nice. I don't think I need to trade Angel of Grace for two things. I think we just kind of sit back. Yeah, Abzan Angels... Yeah, that could certainly work. Seraph of the Scales is really nice. Yeah, Seraph of the Scales is certainly a good reason to play black. That card's awesome. Um, and then you get access to Cast Down and Vrass's Contempt. Now Angel of Grace would trade with Tempest Gin plus 
Terramander plus Siren Storm Tamer. So they could just dive down. And it trades with just Jin. Jin and dive down. Let's wait a turn. No real rush. So, like, Resplendent Angel just turns into a 6-6 six, six or trades with a couple of those, but then, like, R Resplendent Angel would not kill even a Tempest Jin through a dive down. You know, if, if they block with, like, Jin, Storm Teamer, Terramander. Alright, now they cannot cast dive down. Let's attack with the Angel of Grace. They'd have to double block with Jin's. To trade with it. Alright, so instead of one activation, let's get all these things in play. Instead of one activation. Now we'll, we'll have be able to activate those. We don't have to worry about trickster tapping anything if for some weird reason our opponent's playing exclusion mage in their main deck which would be weird but if they are we don't have to worry about that remember we don't have to worry about sleep uh because of a shalai they can't target us with sleep Just taking it. Yeah, this is music from Ocarina of Time. This is our final boss playlist. We got some some famous songs. All right, we got game one. Game one is ours in the books. Thankfully, our matchup gets a little better. We got four Harpooners, two Baffling Ends, a Binding, and a couple of Knight of Autumns to bring on in. We're cutting Vivian, a Johnny, um, Honor Guard, and rolling with this. Nope, no settle. Our Storm Tamer does counter settle. You know, so it's hard to even resolve with like spell pierces and negates and stuff like that, but then they could also just Storm Tamer it. It's just so hard to have settle resolve. All right, Dub's Tithe Taker will help Angels resolve. But getting a Danto Vanguard out early is, is pretty nice of like attacking with that card and everything. Dang, that resolved really quickly. I kind of wish I would have played Tithe Taker. If they were going to Essence Capture something, I think I'd rather them Essence Capture the Vanguard. Yeah, I wish I would have had two Tide Takers in right now. We haven't been drawing too well. We haven't seen any of our sideboard cards. 
uh, with our harpooners or bleh or baffling ends. Baffling end would be a really good draw because they cannot protect this gin. Now they really can't. Really love to draw baffling end. Baffling end. Baffling end. Gross. More and more five mana angels with three lands. That's not going to do it. Okay, quick game two, going to the bad guys, and we are now on to game three. I'd like them to play a one mana flyer. Play Storm Tamer or Terramander, please. Yay. Not the merfolk. Not the unblockable thing. Uh, these kind of decks are really good against uh, mono red. Playing a lot of angels and everything. Angels are great against mono red. Shalai Lyra. I don't know why our opponent's main phasing opt there. I guess they're maybe they're looking for a one drop. But now I just know that they can't counter Resplendent Angel. Well No, I like Disinformation Campaign is good against Esper Control. It's not so good against Mono Red. But it is a is a, it is a really good card against Esper. Like taking it out for duress isn't really an upgrade. It's a, it's like a slight upgrade, but not much of one. Archeraska draws cards. This deck that we're playing here does struggle against control decks. Going long keeping card advantage, Archer Varaska can help with that. <laughs> yeah, this is the Lord of the Rings song. If you're playing lots of Mono Red and Esper, I think you could probably cut down, like, bringing in Duress is fine, but you probably want to cut down on, like, maybe on, like, Ritual of Set, or... I don't know, maybe, like, Bedevil? So if they want to block and dive down, they're at least using their dive down without taking either of these cards. So I still have both of these cards in hand, and a dive down's gone.
This game's looking really, really nice for us. That's a second dive down gone. We still have multiple removal spells. That's not so good. Try to bait out the counter there with the history banalia. It worked. And that's it. Five wins. Boom. Got there. Ending with three straight five ones. All right. So Slesnia Angels looked pretty good for us. We didn't play against any control, which is like, you know, kind of our toughest matchup. Um, played against a couple of mono blues, which I think is, is pretty good for us. We got a whole lot of sideboard for that. Um, but that's what we got. So, uh, I have a lot of wild cards. 44, 19, I guess. <clears throat> awesome. So if you are, yeah, we're getting the 20 gems because basically whatever rare we would have opened there, um, Whatever uh, rare we would have opened, uh, it ended up being some rare that we had, so we just got gems in instead. Um, all right, cool, Affection. Yeah, I will absolutely help with Grixis discard, you know, so, yep, absolutely. So there's Selesnya Angels, still a pretty strong deck. Uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you uh, have a wonderful night, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video. There you go. Thanks, Zephyr. Yep, so that's the that's the YouTube channel right there. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG.